What's up everybody, Brick Sanchez here once again with a small little city update. I'm gonna take you around the beach area here and the underwater area because I got a few things to show you guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe if you like my content. Also check out my Instagram at Brick Sanchez and uh, let's get into it. Alright guys, so I've added in all of these dark tan plates here to simulate that wet beach look, also to make it a, that wet sand look. Uh, also to make it uh, look a bit more organically here. So um, I really like how it came out. Tell me guys what you think of this. Uh, it looks a lot better than those square plates in my opinion. So I also like the way that it flow, um, flows here with that old school Paradiso base plate. So that's pretty cool. Um, for the rest, let me see. I've added in that light kit there in the Paradiso bar as you can see. We've made that little club sign there with the Unikitty. So I really like that. I think about, I'm thinking about keeping that. Make uh, Maybe like making it a bit more uh, nicer out here adding some things taking some things away uh, for the rest it's pretty hard to see but as you can tell down there let me check it out from here that shrimp shack is now also lit up I'm gonna take a look from the back here it's not that easy to see all right and as you can see it's pretty dusty in there as well <laughs> I need to get me some dusting tools uh, which I will be making a video about soon I'm gonna buy a vacuum cleaner also like an air compressor um, but yeah, let me take you guys to the down uh, to the underwater area. All right, so in the underwater area, we have a few cool things here. As you can see there, we have that reddish glow there. And um, as you can see that skeleton there as well. So I've added in that red light. I'm not sure if I talked about it in the other video. Um, but I wanted to create this like um, creepy look, creepy vibe there. As if that the curse of the mummy has just been activated by the diver. And um, the, the mummy came to life. As you can see, we have that... Haunted shark there as well from the hidden side sets. Then we have that angler fish as well. It's pretty cool. And then something else I really like that it's lit up is this uh, this old, what is it, a Neptune Discovery Lab or something. So those big gates are now lit up, which is pretty cool. Let me see if I can show you this from the back. So as you can see right there, I would love to make, make it a bit more, uh, make some space, use something. Uh, use the space a little bit better maybe make like a small working area or something i'm not sure as you can see the cables are all still uh, very visible now i still have to hide all of these the plank also has to come in here from here a little bit of a plank to separate all of that stuff so that was it for the underwater area now let me get another quick look at it from this angle here you can see the two lights there pretty cool now uh, something else i really would like to do is light up this dome here as well then maybe that other ship there and I really like that Batman uh, uh, underwater submarine there. And I saw a light kit for it. I might buy it. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we still have a lot of work to do. I've put in some uh, some more decorations and stuff. But nothing really that, um, that big or anything. So yeah. All right. And I also forgot to say that I've just ordered two uh, UV black lights. So I want to place some black lights underneath here. I got one for here, one for the other side. And I think that will make everything look a lot better. As you can see for now we have these uh, LEDs down there in blue which are also pretty cool but I might check it out what it's like with the, uh, the, with the black light and the, the regular light kits itself. I think it might look a lot better uh, if I got some translucent like this piece down here. I think it will glow very awesome. I'm not sure how, how it's going to turn out with those UV lights. We'll see in the future. Um, but then something else as well. I've used this technique down here with the... How do you call it with like the 8-bit style the minecraft style of curves because i want to place all of the one by two trans light blue tiles in there as well i also want to do that with the ninjago part but this uh, will be a priority uh, project so i'm gonna see how much i can order from those and then to fill up this entire area here we'll see how that goes um, but yeah all right now something else that i've been doing as well is uh, work a little bit more on the small details i'm gonna show you guys all of that stuff uh, with that I mean like the trees you can see here we got a few trees down there there and there I'm um, also added in some of these I'm not sure we don't have them in Belgium but these are from uh, from in New York I believe like these these things where you can buy a newspaper or something and this one is from the Sanctum Sanctorum set so I really like this crime floods the streets there as you can see we have a daredevil little daredevil on there New York bulletin here so very cool I really like that so we have one here with a garbage can next to it and then around here we have another one as you can see let me zoom in this will be bad quality but either way there's another one so very cool then we've also added in that bench there so pretty awesome let me get to the other side as well 
or first let me show you guys these stars uh, you might have known in my previous videos that I wanted to expand on them so first off we have these stars going all the way up until the end of the bank here because I wanted it to stop there don't want to have it all the way there because this will be called Bull uh, the Hollywood Boulevard um, once I get my custom uh, designed uh, street names and then as you can see we also get a better look at those trees and the bench here we have the stars going from all the way there up until down here and uh, depending on how the street will go once I have the plank down here and sorry don't look at the <laughs> city there it's, it's a mess I've been switching some things around but either way so this might expand a little bit more I still have a few of these left I think I've ordered 30 last time with uh, the Bricklink order you can check out that Bricklink order as well um, but either way so that's that and then as you can see down here we have this one I think this parking meter is actually from the diner I'm not sure I'm gonna check it out I think it is from the diner but I recreated a few of those which I'm gonna show you guys right now so we have this first parking spot down here um, as well as these fire hydrants I've also added in a few of those just, so just the small details I almost looked over it so <laughs> then we also have this little cool parking uh, sign here so I really like all of the signage and stuff so uh, yeah out here we also have this very cool new sign Anton's brick shop uh, bait shop <laughs> uh, I still need a nicer arrow for that either way this will have uh, I will talk about the future plans later so we had that fire hydrant down there now we have another one right here there's another one two blocks away right here then another two blocks away we have one out here but I didn't have any more of those rounded uh, um, red tiles either way in the back there we see another one a double one as well that one so pretty cool but uh, now let's show you let me show you this other parking spot here so here's another parking meter I really like that so now I can place this one now this little car is gonna park for free as I didn't have any space or I might put another one in there but um, this is for either one big car the parking or you can use like two of these one of these uh, smaller like a medium small types and then one of these very small cars you can fit two of them in one of those parking spots now I think out here it looks a bit too crowded so I'm just gonna put this one in here uh, but I'm gonna show you the other parking spot all right so on this side as well there's another little tree here we got the fire hydrant we got the parking meter here for this car because here they are supposed to have two cars and then out here we have this parking meter for this car and then we have this parking meter for this car right here so I really like that and uh, as you can probably tell this one is placed a bit more in the back than this one and that is actually because um, to open up this building as you can see I would love to have it open up and there cannot be <coughs> there can be any studs sticking out here so I cannot just remove uh, this once I want to open it so as you can see right now we can open it still let me get this guy off there so as you can see it still opens up it's it's pretty tight but it's very uh, it just goes very well so that's not a problem and I really like that and I don't really mind that these are a bit sticking out a bit more forward I think it still looks pretty okay let me know what you guys think of that all right so those were some of the smaller details that I've added in I think it makes the city look a lot better I've also tried to check out now this light is not connected anymore it, uh, it's supposed to run as well uh, all of the lights now I contacted the seller because this um, this light came from the Ghostbusters HQ set and I've asked the seller because it's a uh, separate USB string as you can see I've asked the seller if they can sell this separately because I would love a few of those in the city throughout the city somewhere uh, but they haven't responded yet so let's see about that uh, now another thing I forgot to say another lit up uh, small thing in here is this uh, news kiosk as you can tell it's pretty hard to see now we can take a look inside uh, it's lit up it's not that clear but it looks uh, very cool I'm gonna try to make a video uh, when the lights are off I'm gonna try to put it in this video so let's see about that we got some future plans as you can see we always had this uh, boulevard here but it always looked kind of random to me uh, this little street section here is pretty random so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna replace this one with a straight road and then I'm gonna have this boulevard here with all the shops this is gonna go away as well I'm gonna raise it up a little bit I'm gonna make a nice walkway out here as well using some tiles probably maybe even a eight bricks wide to make a nice walking boulevard and I want to raise it up with some stairs going to the beach and some and like three sets of stairs one here one in the middle and one in the back to reach it and I think it will look a lot better also out here then we can maybe uh, even have the sand going down towards the beach I would really love that 
because one stupid thing that I forgot to do while designing my city uh, before I made it, uh, this, while designing these tables actually, is that I didn't have a raised up area or a lowered area for my beach because I've seen a lot of people do that and I'm, I really like that. Uh, so I'm really, uh, <laughs> I really knocked myself on the head a few times why I didn't think of that before. But it would be epic to have like the rest of the city just raised up even though it's, it's like about four bricks or five bricks. But I can't do that anymore so I think the boulevard will be the best uh, the next best thing for that because I was thinking before cutting a few of these poles and lowering the entire beach area but then I would have to lower this area as well so that's a, a very big job which I don't want to do anymore so I'm just gonna keep it like that I'm pretty satisfied with how it looks right now uh, but yeah I think that boulevard will be pretty cool uh, we'll see how it goes with the beach Another small thing because I wanted to really uh, take the time this Sunday I took the whole day just to, to look around for some of the things that I forgot about entirely so out here as well uh, I don't know if you remember the backside I will show it to you in a minute I've also made two uh, light poles on here I ordered two of them in black so I'm going to be replacing this one and I've added in these like little fence pieces here to make it look a, a bit better uh, so it's also <laughs> not so dangerous for the figures even though this is still pretty dangerous <laughs> just to walk through but eventually I would love to have some how do you call it the things that go down whatever but uh, either way so i want to make it here like i have it on the other side which i'm going to show you now and so this is what it looks like on the other side we got two of those black um black light uh, light poles there and uh, i think it looks very good with the fences it just by uh, how can i say it just makes a uh, makes it look like uh, it's part of the entire you know community thing here but now what i wanted to ask you guys is do you think it would be awesome to get two of these black ones out here as well on this side because i was really thinking about that that might be cool as well as you can see we have some fences out here as well i might even want to expand that all the way until the station uh, so let me know what you guys think of that if you want me to do that then i might do the same on the other side once again we're on this side so i might do it on this side as well i'm not sure what you guys think of that or i mean this side so uh, yeah all right moving down here in the last video i also talked about this area um, now the figures are still working very hard down here um, and the only thing I've put in here is this kind of this roadblock here um, so there's still the car is still able to uh, to pass here as you can see we got some visitors from um, what is it Exoforce <laughs> I don't know where they're from either way far far behind the Asian mountain lies the Exoforce kingdom so that's where they're from but I really like this little thing here with the card there a few of those signs um, but yeah it's always I always like it when people put it in in a spot that isn't finished yet so uh, I tried doing that as well for the rest on the Hogwarts area we didn't work too much the only thing maybe you can see it in here uh, is I've added in some lights now let me see the inside here as you can see it's lit up very cool I've also added in this light for the Hagrid's hut which I'm going to be showing you later when the lights are off now um, for the Hogwarts area I'm still I was thinking about it for a long time now what I want to do is expand this a bit further so I have some more room for the castle because I would really love to have that um, the backside of the castle as well maybe some room for the Quidditch field and now with the, with the new expansion that we're thinking about, making tables behind me, um, I'm going to have all the room I, I want out here for, um, for my English town. I'm, I'm not sure if I talked about it in the other video. This is a, a big mess here. Please don't, uh, don't mind it. But I would love to make a little English town down here. The two sets. This, uh, this is pretty new, actually. I'm going to show it to you guys. So this is my, um, my modification of the 4 pivot drive. As you can see, I've added in that little garage down there. Now this is a detachable, you can look in here, you can also open up the garage, it's very small though, nothing will fit in there, it's purely for decoration actually, but uh, I have another one of these, I didn't build yet, this is the back side, so it looks almost exactly the same. Now one cool thing about this, I'm just going to take it off here, sorry tree, uh, so I didn't change a lot, I just added this part, uh, I've switched this rounded plate with a straight plate, now for the Harry Potter's uh, little... A uh, little room underneath there it's still accessible through here so I can open this up like that and then you can still get into Harry's little room I really wanted to keep that feature but either way I'm gonna have two of those because this entire entire uh, like little island here or table will be entirely Harry Potter themed or mostly Harry Potter themed uh, magical and stuff so I'm gonna have that uh, King's Cross station which I still want to build I'm gonna have two of these then um, the other one will be without the garage though i'm gonna have them next to each other then next to that somewhere around here i'm gonna have a leaky cauldron and i'm not sure if you guys know in the last video i talked about making a diagon alley 
And now LEGO has released the Diagon Alley and I've already ordered it, so that's gonna be very epic. So I want to place it down here with uh, one side of the buildings on this side and then on the opposite side another type of building and then I want to make Gringotts uh, mock probably or they might come out with a building for that, I'm not sure yet. But either way that's gonna be very epic, the harbor will move to that side as well and uh, then I have some room to expand the Hogwarts more further um, probably until here and then I can still have this entire um, what is it, lake area moved down there as well. So that was about the expansion or something else that I've been thinking about while putting in these lights in here is um, because I really want to light up Hogwarts um, it would be a shame if the only the most magical place in the city was not lit up and I think it would look very incredible if the entire castle is lit up but either way um, it's very difficult because I wanted to make it a modular so I wanted to have it a bit higher in here to be able to remove every building to see what's underneath there and stuff but um, that will probably not work out because maybe if some of you guys already installed some light kits in the modulars it's a pain in the ass to take apart so if you want to check out the insides again and all that stuff it's very difficult so I know light my bricks as, as a special type of brick where they have like a tile and then uh, another plate on the, up, on the underside and uh, once they are connected they get the electrical signal going through it and, and all of that stuff but that's too expensive for me <laughs> so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be buying that I also buy all of my light kits from Aliexpress they're very cheap but as you can see they're all working perfectly so no complaints about that but either way that would be very difficult so what I want to do right now is I just want to um, keep the magic going on but I just want to have a, a lot of buildings like opening up and stuff so I would really love this uh, for this great hall to be able to open up so I'm gonna see I'm gonna um, I'm gonna modify it so it's able to open up this front door here so you can look inside I would also love to be able to swap out the floors make a few of those uh, let's uh, to see how that goes now this is an area that will not be lit up so this might still have, uh, have something underneath there now for the parts underneath there I wanted to make like some Lego shelves as you know uh, you can make them by just using some some tiles and stuff so you can just take out the room and stuff so you can still see it I also would love to have that uh, that great tower there also be able to open up uh, flap open so that would be very cool my first plan was to have them all with the open back but I think that will look a lot cooler it would also be a bit more magical to have some opening stuff and all of that, uh, all of those things like the carriage from uh, from the uh, what is it? This Beaubaton stuff. It also opens up, uh, and I really like that. So it gave me some inspiration to try some stuff like that as well. But either way, this is lit up, very cool. Hagrid's head is also lit up. Now that was everything, I believe. So I'm just gonna show you guys this now in the dark. All right. So I've turned off all of the lights. Now, as you can see, we got some lights going on down here. It's very hard to see. The quality is a lot worse now. But uh, yeah, let me check. Let me start down here. We have the Ninjago City. Very awesome. I still need the light kit for the docks as well. Um, then down here, we got all of those lights. We have these awesome Slimer lights there. You can look in the dome from the Egyptian Museum. So a lot of other very awesome lights. I really like this. This view down here, then some more, let's follow the boulevard down here, very cool. Now let me show you some of those new light kits. There we have the new uh, kiosk here, then down here we have the club as well, let me check it from the other side. Maybe now you can see that the shrimp shack is lit up as well. So that club is lit up. Now it's very bright actually, might even change that up a little bit. Now let's check it out underwater here. I really like that Neptune Discovery Lab, it just gives this cool glow with the yellow and blue, it makes a kind of green glow, so very cool. Now let's check it out underwater here. So yeah, you heard my knees cracking there. <laughs> we have that, uh, that's looking pretty cool, but I really wonder what it will look like without the LEDs, and there you can see the clutter of cables. <laughs> uh, but either way, without the LEDs and with the black light, I'm really wondering what that's gonna look like. I hope all of these translucent pieces will light up nicely. But uh, either way, now let's check out the Shrimp Shack quickly from down here. Yeah, that's that. And then we have the Harry Potter area. So I really like the look of it. Now with the open back, it still shines a lot in the back here. That's not, that doesn't, uh, that's not supposed to happen in the future, but either way, really like it. And then down here as well, that boat with the light just looks so good. It's difficult to see on the camera, but in real life, it looks very green. Very awesome, then we have the Hagrid's head as well. It uh, doesn't look that good on camera, but uh, yeah. All right guys, those were all of the lights. 
let me check it out from down here pretty cool right and the light hurts my eyes <laughs> but uh, either way that was it guys the little city update i haven't done that much i mean nothing that significantly i really like i was just looking at it really like all of the lamp posts there in one row it looks very awesome i believe those are like one two three four five six seven in a, uh, eight in a row very awesome but uh yeah either way be sure to subscribe be sure to like this if you like this of course and um check out my next videos because there will be a lot of big things coming up once i get the wood and all that stuff i'm gonna build a plank i'm gonna build a new table behind me uh so yeah big things coming up be sure to check it out so thanks a lot for watching if you made it to the end that's very awesome and um uh, I'm going to check you guys out in the next video.